welcome. Um, just wonder if you could give us your first impressions of the team after the first day of training and just, you know, what your vibe is of the team from the time you've been here so far. Yeah, well, thank you for the welcome. Uh, you know, super excited to be here. Um, it's another opportunity for me, a little bit of a fresh start after a difficult year last year. But uh, coming into this day, first day, very professional, uh, very exciting. You know, the team feels feels good, it feels, you know, united. And so hopefully we can continue that on for the season and show exciting football and, and get good results. How would and you describe? Up, uh, the fact that your dad played for Miami Fusion briefly, um, you know, does that, what does that mean to you at all? That you're basically standing on the same spot? Yeah, it's always nice to, to kind of follow in his footsteps. You know, I played in the same club that he did when, when I was in Costa Rica. So now to continue to do that, it's, it's always a lot of uh, pride and, uh, very exciting times whenever I step on the pitch, so uh, hopefully make him proud in the club proud. How would you describe the team? I know it's the first day, but it seems like there's a lot of energy, obviously a lot of youth. How, how would you just describe the team so far? Yeah, like you said, energy. Uh, a lot of positive energy, uh, trying to be one, trying to you know get to learn each other on and off the field. Uh, that's something that we're really focused on. And so I think off the field, as we're good, it's going to show on the field as well. What has Phil said to you guys, uh, just as a group? I don't know if there was any like pre-talk before the thing started today or anything. What's kind of the message coming from management? Uh, you know, I, I would say number one is, is professionalism, uh, our character and how we act on and off the field. You know, playing our roles individually. Uh, like I said, on and off the pitch um, towards a collective goal. Ariel, por qué te decidiste por venir a Inter Miami? Qué tan importante es retomar ese Exactamente, eso es lo que quiero hacer, ¿verdad? Regresar y, y intentar de, de estar en la selección otra vez, obtener ese, ese nivel que, que sé que tengo, ¿verdad? Y siento que aquí me van a dar la oportunidad de hacer eso. Eh, también tengo que ser parte del grupo, ser lo que quiere el profe y ayudar al equipo en todo lo que puedo. ¿Has conversado con Luis Fernando Suárez, Ariel, sobre la posible vuelta a la selección? Eh, he tenido poca comunicación con él, pero cuando he hablado con él, sí, sí, él, él nada más quiere que, que sea más agresivo, que, eh, que es parte de mi, de mi juego, usar mi velocidad y, y al fin de cuentas eh, terminar con, con gol. ¿Tú crees que aquí en Inter Miami es un lugar indicado para, para poder desarrollar esas habilidades? ¿Lo has conversado contigo tal vez? Sí, yo primero sea así, eh, siento que, que va a ser así también jugadores que tenemos aquí, el staff, todo, todo está en, el, en la dirección para eso. So many new faces. Any anybody in particular impress you so far? Um, I mean, first day, honestly, we have a lot of talent on the, in the team. Uh, it's nice to be on the pitch with Gonzalo. You know, you see him off the pitch yeah. uh, on TV a lot. You know, me growing up being a Madrid fan, but, uh, you know, now seeing him here and the way he works and the professionalism, you, you know, you understand why. But Honestly, I think as a group, uh, everybody is bringing something good to the table. What do you bring to the table? How would you describe what you're going to add to this team? Uh, I would say mobility and my speed. You know, getting getting into positions to uh, set my teammates up or set myself up. Uh, I would think that's that's the main one right there. And you know, being able to um, connect very very well with other players. You know, I felt that today with certain players and. Has that been maybe some of the early conversations you've had with either Phil or Chris about what they're looking for you to bring into the team? Because last year the team definitely struggled at times in terms of stretching the field and having that speed to really uh, test the opposing defenses. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think that's one of my, my main strengths. Um, so the important thing for me is to open up spaces for other players to do, to do their role and for me to do mine. Ariel, siendo este un equipo que ha tenido una renovación importante de la temporada pasada esta, ¿eso cómo lo tomas tú que viene llegando? Quizás con un sentido de tranquilidad porque hay otros que están en su mismo escenario o es más difícil conectar desde muy temprano? No, siempre va a ser difícil conectar así de una vez, ¿verdad? Siempre va a tener que tener calma y paciencia, pero, pero sí se va. Pero yo lo importante es que yo esté enfocado desde, desde el primer día. Ya seguir haciéndolo igual mañana y para el torneo que viene. ¿Tienes un objetivo personal que te gustaría cumplir este año? Yo, la verdad, quiero, quiero enseñarme a mí mismo que, que todavía tengo la capacidad y, y sé que la tengo, ¿verdad? 
Entonces para mí es, es cada día salir, entrenar con una buena actitud, eh, con una buena perspectiva para, para el torneo. ¿Qué jugadores, mencionaste hace poco algunos jugadores que pensé, piensan se puede compenetrar bien? ¿Nos podrías dar algunos nombres? Sí, eh, bueno, uno tiene que, cuando está en el campo, tiene que conectar bien con el club, ¿verdad? Eh, él siempre va a estar en la área, entonces la voz nomás. From someone that's seen the team from afar and now is part of it, you know, what's your impression of, of Inter Miami, David Beckham own franchise? Sorry, say again. No problem. I, I know. Um, from you were someone that was from the outside, saw the team from the outside. Now you're now you're part of it. What was your impression about Inter Miami before joining? It's a D David Beckham led franchise. It's a it's a big city. What, do you, what was your impression before joining uh, Inter Miami? Well, I mean, you think of uh, David Beckham and anything he does. It's always uh, the main word that comes to mind is success. You know, so I see that this club wants to be successful and, and win on the pitch, uh, and that's what I want to do as well. But my main focus is just to help the team in any way I can to achieve that goal. I have one. I want to ask. How much do you talk to your dad about, you know, about your career, about sport in particular? Does he give you advice on a daily basis, weekly basis? Daily. Daily, daily basis. Uh, he and I talk. I mean, this doesn't go a day where we don't talk about football. So it's always, uh, you know, things that I can continue to work on, things that I can get better at, uh, things that I should continue to do. Uh, but he's, you know, my eyes off the field, and you know, a lot of players may not have that ability have that to their use but you know thank god i do how have you found south florida so far uh you know i lived here before when i was really young i don't remember too much mm -hmm. but uh being able to to be back here it's really nice you know the weather is much better than houston I'll tell you that. <laughs> but uh no it's it's beautiful here era niño, ¿verdad? Entonces este año sí es, es bastante importante para mí a lo individual, eh, pero lo importante es, es trabajar bien aquí para tener esa oportunidad. Did you ever see your dad play here? Um, I remember very small, very little bits and pieces. I, I think I remember him more at, at DC United and uh, at Kansas City. Right. Thank you, Ari.